So welcome back, friends. As promised, you guys are going to join me in a very difficult thing. We have to fit this thing in the front of the panel, or the, the, for the front headliner, and upholster it. Yeah, when I was only 17 where we're at currently is we got to we got to have something to stick it to, right? We got a we got radius is this way, we got radius is this way. We have to tie into the existing panels that I've built here, and it is not easy. So what I started with, and as I said in the last video, you give a hundred guys this project, you're gonna have a hundred different outcomes. This may not be the best way to do it, but I, you know, you just have to start. So what I did is I put a piece of one by a pine across here. These are really heavy duty self-tapping a torque sheet metal screws and I stiffened it up with a piece of aluminum eighth inch aluminum channel this is a, a C channel that's turned upside down and bolted to that so that gives it some rigidity rigidity now the only thing that this is holding up is a piece of quarter inch plywood uh, with some some fabric on it so it's not not a big deal so uh, what we're doing is we're connecting those uh, that, those furring strips connecting them up here to this um, horizontal brace. I think our mock-up is complete. So when, when I've, what I've realized with upholstery is you need a big flat workbench. So what I did is I got a piece of this uh, masonite, the four by four by eight sheet here and I'm just using my cut table here. Having never done upholstery before, I'm not sure on all of the best procedures and such, but uh, what I've been doing seems to work pretty good on the other panels is to do uh, cut it two inches over uh, whatever it is the panel that you're covering start with a brand new knife each time you cut the cut the carpet get yourself a brand new knife make things a lot easier so I just been using this uh, this big ruler here because it's two inches wide and I'll uh, cutting on the masonite works good because you can usually cut through that in one cut to stick the upholstery to the plywood, we're going to use this. This is just your, your super duty contact cement. Contact cement, you cover both sides, wait about 15 minutes or so, let it dry, um, and it sticks together. There's no movement, so when you apply the two pieces, they've got to be perfect. This is a cool trick. I love uh, tricks of the trade tricks that I learned from a guy I was watching on YouTube that carpets uh, speaker boxes, and he said uh, when he's spraying his adhesive, take your some masking tape, and do a little V pattern on your can when you're pouring into like a smaller receptacle. I'll show you here in a minute. And it really works good and it helps kind of keep the can, keeps the glue and stuff out of the seal. As far as spray guns go, this is uh, not a fancy one. This is just kind of a, maybe a higher end Chinese one. You don't need anything fancy. Just, you can get something at Harbor Freight uh, inexpensive. I think anything would spray this. There's probably a better adhesive uh, maybe designed for spraying that's a little bit thinner but uh, it doesn't really matter. It seems to it seems to work good. See how, how good that tape works? How it uh, kind of keeps things clean and you can take a when you're done you can just take a rag and you can wipe that off real quick. Because this is either not the right spray gun or the right product, it, it kind of goes on more like a texture than smoothly. Uh, what I have done is I've just taken a foam brush. As soon as it, you get off of it, I uh, just hit it out, knock down the high spots. It seems to work, uh, work good. All right, now we're gonna let that sit until it's not tacky, not sticky to the touch. And then we're gonna adhere them together. Here's a tricky part. Uh, it's gotta, we gotta lay it down in the right spot. So we've got that two inch overcut. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll use that ruler to kind of get me, get me going on that leading edge. It's 
been about 20 minutes or so. Still got enough there. I should have just went with it. Oh goodness. That didn't go as well as <laughs> as the other ones did. I might have. I might not have pulled it tight enough there. Oh. Well, this carpet seems to be pretty forgiving. The next thing we'll do is I've got a piece of plywood laid down over there. Once we stick it, um, I'll immediately take it down. This is more like a video of how not to do it. I've been using this acetylene bottle to roll them. Because it's heavy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Did it work? Oh, yeah. We're okay. <laughs> See, it's very forgiving. Even for... Uh, your DIYers here. For the upholstery, what I've been doing is just taking the masonite and keeping one side clean, glue free uh, for the uh, stapling part of it. For the stapling, uh, I'm using uh, T50 stainless steel, stainless steel, so it won't corrode or rust. If you're using a, if you're going to put that in the boat, make sure you you get those in just an electric staple gun. So what I've found to work pretty good as I start in the middle, pull it tight and staple every inch or so. As far as outside corners go, I, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to do this, so I uh, there's not a lot online about it, so if you're an upholstery guy, upload some videos for us so we know how to do it. But what seems to work is I, I've just been taking and, and um, cutting here. And then coming in, not all the way to the corner, but back a half inch or so, cutting here. And uh, <laughs> it seems that I never really do it uh, the same twice. How was it I did that? Um, yeah, and I kind of opened this up here um, and then trimmed trimmed this off, kind of straight up here, these corners. Homeowner special here. As far as the inside corner goes, uh, your guess is as good as mine, but I, I don't see that there's any other way. Uh, maybe I'll come back just a little bit, not go all the way to the corner, and just cut at a 45 here, and then, yeah, and then that will flop over like that. All right, let's see how we did here on the other side. I have to say I'm pretty pleased with that. That actually looks really nice. Man, that just goes to show, you know, don't be afraid to try new things. If you think you can't do it, get online, watch some videos, and that's what's so awesome about YouTube is you got you got access to people that are the, some of the best at their trades, and they you know do they do uh, videos on there and for love, and uh, I really appreciate that. I'm holding my breath. This is usually the point where I figure it out. I there was some major thing that I overlooked. <laughs> oh goodness! I'm starting to think that that five thousand dollars was a uh, Actually kind of reasonable <laughs> for the amount of work that goes into this. So I just finished the headliner and got all the screws in and man it turned out great. There's a 
as I said, a lot going on. It, it tapers to the front. It uh, bends two different directions. So to get any sort of a decent seam at all, I'm, I'm just thrilled. So it turned out very good. It looks very even, even as I could get it. Um, it's very, very solid, uh, all insulated, and it just turned out really great. I, I'm just thrilled. Just thrilled with it. That's something that was... I just didn't really know where to begin, and I I knew it was going to be a massive undertaking. It took it took two days, so you know, could I do it faster next time? Uh, a little bit, not a whole lot, but uh, I'll probably take a half a day off that. But turned out great. The um, everything uh, fits nice. I've got a just a very small gap. You know, some of the stuff could have been a little bit better, but uh, it's gonna this is gonna get covered up, so it doesn't really matter. Ties in very nicely with the uh, the original liner. Right there. I mean, good grief, that's the way it is from the factory there. Our work's better than that, right? <laughs> but the upholstery uh, screw, screws uh, look good. It's, it's, it's just great. Um, drove it, uh, no rattle, actually quite a bit quieter. Uh, no squeaking or anything. I was very careful uh, not to let, you know, wood be wood touching. You always have little gaps on stuff, but uh, looks great. Man, it just changes the whole feel of everything all of that uh that white exposed metal and it was so hot you just feel the heat radiating out of it we got the the fan trimmed out nice looks great with the lights it just uh just turned out great so that's it thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one